Dubai's office sector started off this year exceptionally well amid strong regional activity, according to Savile's latest office market report. Demand for quality grade A office space is outstripping supply. Paula Walsh is here with us in the studio to tell us more. Paula, thank you very much for being with us. So what were the key findings then of your, your latest study? Well, our Q1 report found very clearly that demand is outstripping supply uh, in the grade A office market. Um, we're also seeing a trend towards flexible co-working serviced office space from a number of, uh, number of international companies. Um, but we're seeing rent rises really as the, as the key finding from the report this year. So what would you say then are the, the key factors that are driving this, this demand for grade A office space? Well, it's quite clear for us because over 50% of the work that we've done in Q1 has been to new companies entering Dubai for the first time. Um, and they're driving a lot of the demand whilst we're seeing very little new supply come to the market. What about um, tenant profiles? Who, who are your tenants coming into these grade A properties? Well, we work only with international corporate clients coming into Dubai, and we're seeing demand right across the market, but particular focus on the DIFC, financial services companies, uh, entering the market for the first time and expanding within the DIFC, leaving us with very little uh, room for manoeuvre in terms of new office space, but also TMT companies, technology, media um, and telecommunications, fintech um, and utech um, being particularly um, active at the moment. Are there any particular you know, demands that grade a, grade a office space will have to deliver that other grades don't? Uh, yes, I mean grade A office space is, is the premium um, office space in the market, usually a single owned building. Um, it tends to offer um, great amenities, good parking, um, access to public transport and be in uh, um, one of the business districts, one of the key business districts in the city. Uh, for a lot of our clients, um, they see that as uh, increasing their company profile, increasing the status, but also enabling them to attract and retain uh, good, good people within their business. Um, and also um, it helps when we come to ESG and sustainability, which a lot of our international corporate clients are demanding worldwide now. What kind of um, sustainability measures are being put into new offices today? Well, there are two types, really. There's the, um, the rating which the building, for which the building is, um, is applicable for once it's constructed, and that's usually based on a LEED gold or platinum rating in this market. But also a lot of clients can uh, use their fit-out um, to uh, manage sustainability goals as well. Now, Paula, what about, um, you know, your, your report takes into account the first three months, the first quarter. Mm. How is the rest of this year looking? Well, more of the same, really. Um, we're not seeing a slowdown in demand. And unfortunately, we're not seeing a lot of new supply come into the market until 2026, 2027. I think the f something that we are seeing that's becoming particularly prevalent um, are companies that are looking further afield outside of the traditional CBDs both through a lack of availability of stock, but also tra traffic congestion playing a, a role as well. And some of those peripheral sub-markets are coming into their own at the moment. All right, well, we've run out of time, but Paula Walsh, really appreciate you joining us. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.